Welcome back everybody, it's time to lock down some popper slivers. We won the die roll again. Oh, okay. Um, yes, yeah, perfectly fine to keep. A little flooding, a little flooding. Uh, we just don't want to draw any more mana. We got plenty. But it's a decent start. It's a decent start. Pass. Alright, what do we got here? A forest? Is a stompy? Ooh, Bogles. Uh-oh. Well, that journey's gonna be dead. It's not good. Um, Alright, well, we got a winding way. That's good, because we're gonna need that to refill our hand and really put a lot of pressure. Let's get in there. All right, let's see what they start with. The colony garden, get a little blocker going. That's fine. I don't mind that. Is that all you're doing? What? Oh, someone had a not great hand. Let's go ahead. Winding way, I suppose. Okay, that's good. It's perfect. Get more pressure. I might have a mutagenic. Do they play with mutagenic? Guess we'll find out. Nope, they're just gonna block, take a poisonous. That's fine. Staving off some damage. Last time we played against Bulgos, it was pretty much a blowout. I'd forgotten about this matchup. This is also a pretty hard matchup for us as well. Um, they can just get a lot bigger than we can, but it looks like they have a pretty terrible hand with just a lot of creatures. But, yeah, last time we played this, it wasn't super pretty. Be able to, I'd love to be able to play two creatures here, but... Uh, oh, well. Uh, I can. What am I talking about? <laughs> we turned into a predatory. Never mind. There we go. This is a good board. We strong. We strong right now. Getting the first win here is good. Uh, just like Monday's matchup, this is like Tron. You just want to be fast. You just want to be faster than they are. That's it. That's it. Just outpace them. It's hard. They're just as fast as we are sometimes. Uh, they might be a little mana screwed, too. Maybe that's what's going on here. They're missing their planes. They just kept uh, a hand with uh, Slippery Bogle and just a bunch of green mana stuff, and they still need a plane. So that could be what's going on here. But they get a Rancor. It's not really going to help them. No sorry. Yep, sideboard time. Let's do it. Alright, so. I guess... Journeys are pretty useless. Natural state is not. Um, Armadillo cloak is kind of necessary. Benevolence, maybe I'll just keep one in. We'll run it like this. Um, enduring. Do we want an extra creature? I'm thinking of like dropping an enduring, put in a spinneret. We could also drop the other benevolent. They're not targeting us a whole lot. They're just gonna be targeting their creatures for the most part. Although they do have, they do have their own journeys in this deck. Um, let's just keep it like this, I suppose. There's an argument to be made for maybe dropping Enduring Sliver. Putting in Spinneret might be more useful, but, uh, it's fine. Let's do this. Let's do this. Good hand. Alright, this good hand. I like it. Get that early pressure going. They kept seven cards. We're going to keep our seven. I wonder, did they mulligan? I don't think they mulligan last time. Maybe they did and I didn't realize. All right, going with the Utopia Sprawl. Waiting to choose a color. What color you got for us? They chose white. They're not going to get mana screwed again this time. Excellent. Okay. We are in great shape here. More lords, please. Absolutely.
Okay. Slippery Bogle. Probably playing Ethereal Armor. Alright. 3-3 three, three with first strike. That's not pretty. Well, we can't attack in yet to this thing. So I think I'm going to play Sentinel. Because he'll be a bigger boy. Start getting some Vigilance going if we need to start chump blocking potentially. But uh, we're pretty close to being able to just drop the two Lords. Be nice to get another one drop maybe. Another plated would be nice, just extra defense. <clears throat> mm -mm -mm. But now they pop in off. Ooh, Armadillo Cloak. That's good for you. <clears throat> be nice to have that in our hand right now, but uh, yeah, no, it's not gonna, it's not gonna happen. We're gonna go to twenty-seven. It's awesome. Got our work cut out, cut out for us. We are going to swing in, uh, but we're going to be close to dead, <laughs> honestly. Uh, at least we got this Vigilance going if we need to start. Really needed to jump block this thing. Depending on what they play here, if they play a Mask, it might be pretty... Oh, and there's the Mask. Alright, so now we got a 13-13 First Strike Trample. So we're dead. All right, well, I think we just need to stave off a little bit of damage here. I was thinking, like, we could take 13, go to 1. Swing in for, let's see, 4, 7, 9, yeah, 9, but then we got a make sure no damage gets through from the trample which is going to be hard enough as it is ah uh, that's rough man that's rough but i think we need to save some life go to four that's that's not fun we're at 35 yeah this game's pretty much a wrap well, we can put down two lords uh but we kind of needed our own armadillo cloak. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Now we can swing in and <laughs> literally we chump block the entire thing and then we have no board. Um, so I think we'll just concede. We'll see if maybe they skip through their combat step. And if they don't, then... Uh, yeah, just another Ancestral Mask. Yep, that's fine. We had a good hand for it, though. Unfortunately, we just didn't get any of our sideboard stuff, which would have been nice. Uh, natural stating... Um, some of their, like, ethereal armor and stuff is kind of necessary. But I didn't want to toss that hand back. It was, it was a good hand. We just kept drawing lords, too. But they had, they had a good hand, too. So, we will go first. Another unkeepable hand. That's not good. All right, we can keep this. I want to keep everything. We kind of need to keep the armadillo cloak. Sentinel was nice last game, but is it necessary? That's tough, man. I could drop a lord. You know what? Let's just drop our flanking. Let's drop our flanking. We'll play our blossoming. We'll sentinel. We'll go from there. Uh, yeah. I guess we're going to do it like that. Alright. That's reasonable. Hopefully they can't pop off, though. Looks like they're going to be starting to pop off, though. 
Choosing white again. I'm gonna go bogle into ethereal armor again. If we do, we're in for some trouble. That's for sure. Get a vines. Don't really want that. I want another land so we can play armadillo cloak. We're gonna need it. I will drop the armadillo cloak on the sentinel straight away if we pull a land, and then we'll worry about pulling in lords turns after that. All right, sliver bogle into. Rancor? You know, into Ledgewalker. Okay. Well, that's perfectly reasonable. Alright, we don't get it. That's unfortunate. We're just gonna lord it up. It's all we can do right now. But two creatures in a bogle hand. Not the worst thing. I mean, maybe they're just setting up crazy, but like... If they start playing enchantments right away, that's when it becomes an issue. All right, so can't be blocked except by creature with flying. It's unfortunate. So now they're going to start getting in for three damage, maybe more. Glade cover scout. All right. We need our armadillo cloak. They're going to gain some more life. This is a hard matchup. This is a hard matchup. Sorry, microphone was going away from me. Hopefully you guys can still hear me all right. Ah. <sighs> Shoot. I think we need to hold that up. They're down to one card. Let's hold up natural state for a turn. See what they play because if they play an ancestral we're definitely gonna hit that i don't want them gaining life either but an, uh, an ancestral is no joke and a rancor okay well that's unreal all right we're getting hit for five can't block it we're gaining five we're not getting our land. That's unfortunate. We really need to start gaining some life. We're swinging in for seven. Which is pretty good. We got them to zero cards. Taking away their Ancestor Mask was a great hit. I would have hit their Armadillo Cloak, but Ancestral Mask is just way better to hit. Another Slippery Bogle. Alright, I'm not worried about you. So, gaining five each turn, we can start outpacing them. But can we kill them before they kill us? <laughs> land! <sighs> Shoot. If we had a land, this is going to be a really different game. Really different game. We could be getting like eight life this turn. And then just be over. They're gonna start blocking. I can just hope for dud, dud cards, dud draws. We got one more turn to get a land, basically. We need a land ASAP. Alright, looks like they might have got a land drop or another creature. They didn't play anything. Uh, and they would have if they could kill us, so. Land! Oh, frick! That sucks, man. That really sucks. Ah, uh, give him a GG. Dang, one land would have changed it. We could have survived one more turn, and then we could have killed them. We just hit them for ten. They're gaining five, and then we're swinging back for like thirty. <laughs> Dang. Well, maybe they'll skip their combat step. Who knows? One land. We're gonna draw a card and see what happens here. Yeah, ethereal armor. Ugh. Yeah. Well, it was close. It was close. I can't be mad about it. It was close. Um, let's see. Our land is nowhere to be found. Wow, it's three turns away. Unfortunate. 
That was a good game, though. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, though. Leave a like on the video if you did. Stay tuned for more Slivers and some more Mill videos coming out this week. And make sure to subscribe. We just hit 200 subscribers. So thank you guys very much for your interest in the channel and watching all the videos and the support. So, uh, yeah, 200 subscribers. Let's keep on growing. And we will see you guys in the next video.